Now, Poland's ruling Law and Justice Party prides itself on taking a tough line on migration, as we've just heard. The nation, which has taken in more than a million Ukrainians, is firmly against taking in migrants and asylum seekers from Asia, Africa and the Middle East, who arrive in other parts of the bloc. But with national elections around the corner, the Polish government's image is in doubt after media reports of bribery in visa application processes. DW's Rosie Burchett went to Warsaw to find out more. Poland is a promised land for the people here at this Warsaw work permit office. I want to stay here. The people are very good. The society are very good people. Everything is very good. This Nepalese kitchen staffer we're calling Mohan just got his papers renewed. But getting here wasn't easy. He had to apply through the embassy in India, then... When we go to India, they will not take money so much or like that, but uh, the third person will take too much money. It's a problem for, uh, for middle family, so we have to, you know, uh, put our lands and other things in the bank and we get the money and we pay the agency. And did they help you get an appointment at the embassy? Yeah, yeah. After, after taking money, they will help. Stories like this one have sparked a media storm here in Poland. Gazeta Wyborcza is one of the few newspapers which regularly criticizes the nationalist conservative government. And when a minister was suddenly sacked last month, investigative journalists followed a lead. Something is fishy. We started to dwell deeper. And then what we find out, uh, well, there are places in the world, in Africa and Asia, where just to get Polish visa, to get an appointment with the consul, you need to pay $5,000 bribe uh, to pay some middlemen who could arrange something. Authorities here have acknowledged wrongdoing occurred and say the issue is being addressed. For its part, the ruling party argues the problem has been blown out of proportion by the press and opposition. Indeed, there was a group that uh, decided to start a criminal activity, uh, taking bribes uh, in exchange for expediting some of the procedures. No visa was granted to anyone in exchange for a bribe. There was no breach when it comes to security procedures. Our prosecutors are already formulating charges against uh, those people and they need to be punished. But the reports have already travelled far and wide. Poland is part of the Schengen area, the European Union's ID check-free travel zone. That means people can easily hop on a train here in Warsaw and head to Germany or many other parts of the bloc. Given Warsaw's reluctance to take in any migrants and asylum seekers from other parts of Europe, some EU politicians have been particularly unimpressed by the latest revelations. For years, the populist far right has painted foreigners and migrants as evil personified, immigration as the root of all our evils. All of this populist rhetoric to hide their own incompetence. As the election draws closer, rhetoric from across the political spectrum adorns the streets of Warsaw. The incumbent Law and Justice Party is still polling high despite the scandal, but their lead has narrowed. And with days to go, all sides are fighting for each and every vote. Well, Rosie Burchard filed that report and she joins us now from the Polish-Slovakian border. Uh, Rosie, tell us first, where exactly are you and why? Well, it seems like where I am, you might have gone back in time because the, over there across that bridge is Slovakia and we are standing in Poland. And what you see behind me are Polish border guards. Now, these are both European Union countries. They are both members of the Schengen area, that free movement zone. So in theory, these borders should be open. But Poland has just this week reimposed some temporarily, some border checks on these crossings. The government says in response to what it calls a surge in irregular migrant arrivals, a across these borders from Slovakia into Poland. Now, critics would say that this comes just after this uh, scandal, this scandal, the news of it broke, and of course, just on the, the eve of crucial elections here in Poland. So some would say, I think it would be seen as an attempt perhaps to look tough on migration and deflect away from those criticisms happening further afield. Still important to note that this is a trend beyond Poland. Germany mm. has also 
uh, post some checks on its border with uh, Poland. And there have been similar moves from Austria, for example. So it's not just Poland. Migration is moving up the political agenda across the European Union, and it's especially heating up here as elections loom. Now, you said it, there seems to be a disconnect between the official stance and stories of migrants buying visas for Poland, uh, like those two men in your report. Uh, did you speak to any others who claim to had, uh, that this has happened? Well, I think it's important to note that the allegations here are, are pretty much contested depending on who you speak to. So essentially what is being reported is that there were people who were paying cash bribes to middlemen in order to speed up their access to an appointment in order to get a visa into Poland. Now, these are people which may already have had legitimate work permits. And it's important to note that Poland has labour shortages in fields like construction, fields like uh, logistics and IT. And many of them are jobs that were once filled by Ukrainian men who have left to go back to Ukraine. So within that, there are companies that really want to hire people from Asia, from Africa to come and work here in Poland. And the question of this, uh, these cases alleged cases of bribery is about expediting the process to be able to access an appointment to validate a visa. Now, the ruling party says this is basically, that's all it is, it's a couple of hundred isolated cases and that, uh, that it's being blown out of proportion by the media. But of course, if you talk to opposition politicians, they say this is hypocrisy from the government and that they simply have been allowing people in without proper checks. That is something, however, that authorities here deny. Rosie Burchett there from the Polish-Slovakian border. Thank you very much, Rosie.